Lionesses looking to be more lethal in Luxembourg. They're trying to work an angle here for him. Flashes it in. Wonderful finish. Brilliant finish by England's main markswoman. Ellen White is getting closer to the all-time record. Well, it's just telepathic play once again from Hemp and White. White's timing to arrive into the right spaces, knowing what Lauren Hemp's abilities are in 1v1, is just superb. Luxembourg wanted any respite, they've got a player who could play up front at right back England. Williamson. Kirby prods it on, and another goal for England, a second for Ellen White. The freedom of the penalty area, and she wasn't going to miss. That's not an easy finish, but she pivots, puts the ball in the bottom corner. Here is Kirby's corner. It's flicked on and Bright's in there, and Paris is in there. And there's number three. Again, a brilliant floated out swinging ball just beyond the front post. Poorly defended, I might add. Kirby's corner. Is it going to drop nicely? It is! Oh, that's a finish. And England finishing well at the moment. And Alex Greenwood on a 50th count, finding the net for number four. That's just where you want the left foot up. Really is great second phase play from Alex Greenwood. Again, this out swinging ball, it's hung up towards the front post. Good position for a second phase player to be knowing that any clearances in this area. Now Hemp. Still Lauren Hemp. Still! Oh, it's not to be this time. Paris. Who wants a shot? There's a deflection on that one, and already England finding the net to the start of the second half. A deflected shot from Greenwood, whether she gets it or not. She won't mind too much, because England have another. Well, certainly more patient play again from England. The time and space that Alex Greenwood had as a centre-back on the edge of the box is unacceptable. Here's Toon, collecting that from Kirby. Toon, they moved it on nicely, and then an own goal. A familiar story in England games. Another own goal to add to the two against North Macedonia. This is what she does so well, wraps her right foot on the ball. Like I said, if it's not an own goal, I think it's a goal for Bethany England. Now then, the goal will clip to that penalty area and a header. And the first England goal for Millie Bright. Well, she'll certainly enjoy that one. A popular goal in the England team. And finally, England centre-back on a 40th cap, five for net. Lovely dink ball from Beth Mead. It's a decent header from Millie. Know how good she is in the air, She's capable, gets across the front of her defender, puts it on target, she'll be over the moon to get her first goal. Stanway to have a go, Stanway. So close to just dipping under the crossbar. Sent it by Mead. Oh, that's a brilliant ball in. And after scoring her first goal for a country, she gets two. Millie Bright at the double. And England have eight again. Millie Bright is unbelievable in the air. Let me tell you, I work with her every day. She is an unbelievable oh. player to work with. Stanley. Hands it to the back post. Will there be another? There is another. And England get nine, and hugs all round. There won't be a more popular goal scorer in the England team this week than Rachel Daly. Do you know what, that's a tough goal. I feel emotional for her, to be honest. What a tough week. Really handled herself with such class. I'm sure her dad will be proud of her. with loads of space, or oh, almost brought down. Must pick out an English shot in the middle, she does! And England have 
10. And Beth England off the bench again to add that 10th goal. The late goals coming for the Lionesses. Well, if you give Beth that type of service like Nikita does, she will finish. So happy for Beth. And the last action of the game. The final score, Luxembourg nil, England 10.